Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over this exercise. And uh, this is drawing one one guide. And uh, the drawing is um, from your textbook, discovering AutoCAD 2017 and 2021, uh, 2020. Um, for this exercise, we're gonna go over um, uh, the drawing command line. So we're gonna use line. Uh, also, we're gonna uh, go over uh, the snap and draft settings. Okay, so the first thing in this exercise, I need to make sure that, you know, um, we do have to uh, count here um, the squares. And this is one way to uh, draw an AutoCAD by setting the snap and the grid lines. Uh, as you see here, we do have one one uh, because here we're gonna start with this point uh, on the coordinate system. So let's get started. The first thing, let's, uh, what we need to do, make sure that uh, the dynamic input is off at this point. So we're gonna turn that off. Now, we need to turn on the grid and the grid here, if you turn it off, so it's no longer blue and you don't see the lines. Let's turn it on so it's a blue and we see the lines. Uh, this is here, um, the snap mode on. Um, you can turn it on by clicking on it or uh, F9 if you want. And this is off now and on when it is blue, okay? We're gonna change that as suggested in the book. Click on this little arrow and go to the snap setting. We will make the, the snap axis spacing and this is how much we need to jump over the lines. Uh, let's make that one and click down. As you see here, both of them change to one at one time because we do have this uh, square checked equal X and Y spacing. The other thing that we need to change is the grid X spacing. Um, currently it's 0.5, let's make the one on the X and one on the Y. After changing that spacing, we show you are on the snap and the grid, then you click OK. Now watch after clicking OK, how the spacing will change from uh, 0.5 to one, as you see here on the grids. The major line every five, that means every five square, we have one thick line and this is the major line. Now let's click OK. Now, as you see here, uh, the spacing here on the um, uh, model space on the grid is one. Uh, we have major lines, thick lines, every uh, five uh, squares, okay? Let's uh, start a drawing. Draw, uh, use the draw command on the home tab line. Also, you can make L enter on the command line or, um, just click on the line simply. Keep your eye on the command line, specify first point. The first point here, as you see, it is one comma one. So put the cursor on the command line, one comma one, hit enter. Let's see uh, where is uh, the first point. As you see here, the for, first point, if I zoom in more, it's one on the X, one on the Y axis, okay? So here you go. Now we need to go to the right. If you count here how many uh, squares, there are 20 squares. So we need to go to the right. Here we have five, 10, 15. We have four at the beginning and one um, on, on the last one, so all of them are 20 uh, squares. We need to go up four, as you see they are four. Now we need to go three to the left, let me zoom here, and three up, okay? Now again, we need to go three with three, and this is the way that we draw using uh, the object um, uh, snap and the snap setting. Sorry, we the way we, we use the snap setting, which is one one. Now we will go over uh, four, then we go 20. And you see till this point, we go, let me zoom in a little bit. We need to go four. Okay, now let's go three, 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 and then close. 
So we just use the snap setting and um, the snap here set it to one one. After that, let's start the line command again, and we need to draw this line. We count the squares on the top, as you see here. We do have four squares, so four, go down. We can repeat the last command by hitting the enter button, or just you go again to the line. And here we have one, two, three, four, and you draw this line down. So we got, if you do something wrong and you need uh, to undo the last step, you make you enter. So if I put you enter, that will undo the last step I did. Okay, so you enter. Now we do have some squares that we need to draw. Let's start the drawing. And again, we are counting. Each square is four by four here, the big ones. So uh, let's start uh, drawing. You can zoom and pan while you are uh, inside the drawing command. Okay, so here, uh, this is the first one. Hit enter when you finish. Hit enter again to start uh, the line command. And as you see here, we do have two squares in between. So let's make uh, this square. Okay, hit enter to end. Then another enter. And here we do have uh, one rectangle and just count uh, the point and see where are they. Here we do have one again. Okay, when we finish, hit enter to exit. Uh, enter again, point, 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 point. So we are just counting uh, uh, the points. Hit the line command again. And here we need to draw uh the squares on the corners again enter or start the line okay here's another line again enter or start the line again so point 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 we are just clicking the point i hit enter again to start the command line okay and enter as you see now we finish this uh, drawing and what we use is line command. Uh, also, we use the setting here, um, the snap mode setting uh, by clicking on the snap setting and uh, changing uh, the snap to one. Uh, actually, you can put anything here that depends on the drawing. It doesn't need to be one, one for all drawings. You can make it two, you can make it five, you can make it 10. That depends on what the drawing and um, what it's used for. Uh, sometimes it's not important to set it on, so you can turn it off at any point. If that is bothering you or confusing you, you can just make it off. And we will see that in um, more advanced uh, drawing later. Thank you, and I will see you in another video.